So how do we rationalize the denominator? What does that even mean? Well, when you have a radical like this, this is an irrational number, meaning it can't be written as a ratio of an integer over an integer. It's irrational. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of this radical in the denominator. But what I would do first is let's try to simplify these radicals as much as we can, and then we'll take a look at it and see how we can eliminate that radical in the denominator. So the first thing that I notice here is that with the square root of 18, that's really like uh, square root of 9, right, times square root of 2. That's 18. And the reason I did this is because 9 is a perfect square, so we're going to be able to simplify that. Same thing with y cubed. This is really going to be uh, the square root of y squared times the square root of y. And in the numerator, we've got uh, 2x times the square root of y. There's not any perfect squares we can pull out of, out of this radical here. Okay, so now let's take a little closer look. So we can notice that these square root of y's actually are going to cancel. Okay, so that works out really nicely. And we have the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of y squared is y. In this video, we're going to assume that all variables are positive. We're not going to use the absolute value of bars here. And we're left with square root of 2. Okay, now in the numerator, we have 2 times x. Okay, now we don't want this square root of 2 in the denominator. That's considered improper. It's irrational. We want to rationalize it. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 2. That's going to give us square root of 4, which the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So this is going to be 2 times 3, which is 6y for our denominator. And in the numerator, we have 2x times the square root of 2. Now notice the 2 and the 6, we can reduce that a little bit further. So 2 goes in here once, 2 goes into 6 three times. So final answer looks like x times the square root of 2 over 3y. Notice we've gotten rid of that radical in the denominator, and this is in simplified form. So let's take a look at another example. So okay, see if you can do example number two now. We've got these two radicals here. Let's see, we've got 10 and 2. I see right away I can reduce these. 2 goes into 10 five times. 2 goes into 2 once. And here what we can do is we can pull out some perfect squares. We can see 27, that's going to be, uh, let's see, square root of 9 times square root of 3, square root of x, and then y to the 7th, we could say that's like y to the 6th uh, times y. So this is a perfect square. And then now in the numerator, let's see, we've got 5, uh, 32, we can break that up into 16 times 2. Square root of x squared is a perfect square. And y to the 5th, we can break that up into y to the 4th times y to the 1st. Okay, now let's see if we can reduce a little bit here. So I can see these square root of y's here are going to cancel, numerator and denominator. Uh, square root of 16 is 4, times 5 is going to give us 20 in the numerator. We've got square root of x squared, which is x. Square root of y to the 4th is y squared, and we're left with square root of 2. In the denominator, we have square root of 9, which is 3. Square root of y to the 6th is y cubed. And we're left with square root of 3x. Okay, so now we can see if we can reduce a little bit further. I notice that uh, two of these y's cancel with two of these, leaving one left over. Uh, we don't want the square root of 3x in the denominator, so we're going to multiply top and bottom by square root of 3x. Okay, that's like multiplying by 1, so it won't change the value. It just changes the way that it looks. And you can see when you multiply a square root times itself, you just get what's underneath that square root. See, this would be just like 3x. Or you could do, this is like 9x squared. Square root of 9x squared is 3x. So 3x times 3 is going to give us 9x times y. Okay, and then in the numerator, let's see, we have 20x square root of 2 times 3x. That's 6x. Okay, we want to always check to see if we can reduce a little bit further. It looks like these x's are going to cancel. So final result, we've got 20 times the square root of 6x all divided by 9y. And you got it. Let's take a look at one last example. Okay, for number 3, this one's interesting because we have a cube root now. So how do we get rid of that cube root in the denominator and rationalize the denominator? Well, remember when you take the cube root, you really need like perfect cubes. Or what you could do is think about it as needing three of that same quantity. So notice we've got like one, two here. We really need three twos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the cube root of two squared. This way when we multiply, we're going to get two plus one would be two to the third power. Cube root 
of 2 to the third is just 2. Here we have 2 y's, or y squared, so we need one more y, so that when we multiply, we'll have y cubed. Cube root of y cubed is a perfect cube, that's going to be y. But remember, whatever we do to the denominator, we want to do to the numerator, because that's like multiplying by 1, right? So when we go ahead and multiply across here, let's see what we get. So we've got 2 cubed, cube root of 2 cubed is 2, times this 3 is going to be 6. Here we get y cubed, cube root of y cubed is just going to be y. In the numerator, we've got 7, uh, we've got y, and we have the cube root of 2 squared, which is 4, y. Okay, now all we have left is really to cancel these y's out, and our final result, 7 times the cube root of 4y divided by 6. Notice we got rid of that radical in the denominator, which is what our goal was, to rationalize it, and you got it. If you want to see more examples of rationalizing radicals and working with radicals, follow me over to that video I did right there, and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you over there.